So I gotta be careful for what I ask for, right y'all? Look, they say it's very powerful. Whatever you speak out of your mouth is gonna come true. So be careful for what you wish for. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday, January 27th, and I'm off, and I'm staying in New York. I'm only off one day. This is probably the only reason I didn't hop on a plane and go fly somewhere else. But it is a beautiful day out today. It's like 50 degrees, so I'm headed to Harlem to go see my cousin. Yes, I have more family. <laughs> And it's kind of shameful because I've been here, what, going on six months now-ish, about, so I got here August 1st, really. So, and I haven't been able to see her, and she's had another baby, and she's called me out on Facebook so many times for not coming to see her, so I'm going to go do that today, so let's go. Before my ride gets here, so let's go to my favorite bubble tea place. No, but this is what I heard. Any of these like more on the healthier side? Everything's healthy here. Everything. I just don't want anything with like a lot of sugar or anything like that. Yeah. Because we do fresh food and natural tea. And natural tea. For no sugar, we can adjust it. Okay. 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 I can do that. Um. What fruit do you want? I'm not. I'm not that picky. Oh, you like the mango? I do. I like mango a lot. Apple, peach, passion fruit. Yeah. Orange. Which one? Like? Mango is good. Peach is good. Passion fruit is good. No orange. No orange. No orange. Okay, mango. Okay, mango passion fruit. Yeah. Let's do that. Thank you. I got a passion fruit, mango with coconut jelly, and like not sugar, some other type of sweetener. It tastes really good, but I want sugar. <laughs> My taste buds are like, mm -mm, something's wrong, something's off. This isn't what we usually have. But y'all, this 30 for 30, I gotta lose this weight. I have to. <laughs> probably hopped on the subway by now I wouldn't have been there that would that's a lie but <laughs> any bit of bougie is still in me so the subway it's not always my friend I'm gonna eventually have to take it probably today but I'm waiting for the Long Island Railroad which is running late I told my cousin I was gonna be there by two it's um 2.54. Then I told her I was going to be there by 3, 3.30. So, we'll see. It says it's supposed to take me an hour to get there from where I live. She lives in Harlem. I live in Queens. So, this is a part of my adventure, y'all. Those 2018 goals. Getting out here, learning New York. I'm doing it. It's just taking a little bit longer than I would like. <laughs> Why does any of you all remind me that tomorrow is the Grammys and it's being held in New York City? I totally would have PTO of my work day tomorrow so I could go celebrity stock. I need to see Beyonce. Uh, but it's too late now to PTO, so hopefully um, whatever reserve schedule they give me, I don't get used. Because I have a friend that lives here. We actually went to college together. She moved out here almost two years ago. And she's like, do you want to go celebrity stock with me? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm on reserve, but I would love to if I don't get used. So, Fingers crossed, I don't get used tomorrow. I would, y'all, talk about an adventure. That would be so much fun. Good to Harlem. Now I'm just gonna walk 10 minutes to my cousin's house. I could take the bus, but that bougie and me don't wanna get on the bus. And I could use a nice little walk because I did not work out today, so. 
You're gonna walk it out. So I gotta be careful for what I ask for, right, y'all? Look, they say it's very powerful. Whatever you speak out of your mouth is gonna come true. So be careful for what you wish for. So my last video, I was talking about how I wish a man would just, you know, walk up to me and tell me, you know, that he's admiring me and blah blah. It just happened. But uh, yet yeah, no. <laughs> So I might need to speak something else with that to uh, limit the walkage upage and the hollands on the side of the street. Like, nah, bruh, sorry, you, that's not for me. You're not for me. I ain't for you, boo. Oh, so <laughs> cute. Oh, these brownstones. I think these are brownstones. All my New Yorkers, tell me that I'm correct. And these are brownstones, right? I wish it looked like this in Queens, but it doesn't. But I love it. Oh, hi, Layla. <laughs> Layla's like, I'm um, just paparazzi. Yes, paparazzi, Layla. Paparazzi. <laughs> she is so comfortable. Oh, I'm gonna take you home, home to Texas. You wanna come to Texas? <laughs> Mommy wants a grandbaby so bad, she would be like, oh. First of all, I, I totally want to talk to you about that. I'll just leave you. Say hi. Welcome back, racers. Say hi, Layla. Say hi, Henry. You're like, I've never seen you. <laughs> well, that was a Saturday well spent with my cousin and her two kids. She's my. Dion, Dion is my second cousin, so they're my little third cousins way down the line. But, alright, Harlem is really nice, y'all. I like it out here. Um, full of people of colors. <laughs> and it's just nice. I love these brownstones. See if I can make it back to Queens. I'm not going to take an Uber. I'm going to do public transportation all the way back. Wish me luck. thing about Penn Station. It's like a mini mall or something. Let's see if I can get out of here in seven minutes. Alright. That line was a little longer than expected, so <laughs> I missed the 955, so I'll just wait for the 1015. The earlier I get there, the better of a seat I get. Gardens. My adventure is done for the day. I am on call tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. The shift that they love to give me. It is now 10:30, so I'm like five minute walk away from the apartment. I'm gonna go to bed. See y'all tomorrow. Good Sunday rainy morning. As you all can see, I am off to work. I had home reserve. From 3 to 1 p.m. today it is like 5 50 in the morning and they are deadheading me to Long Beach to sit airport standby and then do two home reserve days from Long Beach so this should be exciting found Jill <laughs> we're both going to Long Beach to sit at the airport how exciting does that sound it's good for her because she's from LA no you're from where are you from Ventura. 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 Right above, right above where? Right above LA. Yeah, good for her. Sure. <sighs> We're at the airport. Always vlogging. Always vlogging. Always vlogging. <laughs> Made it to Long Beach, guys. So now I have to sit at Long Beach Airport. It was like a six and a half hour flight. <sighs> the headwinds were crazy. So 
super long flight. I watched TV. I slept. Now I'm gonna sit here at the airport for airport standby for four hours. So we'll see if I get used and then I think I have home reserve. They're gonna put me in a hotel, obviously, for tomorrow. And then I'll do home reserve for a few hours and then I'll be done. Yay! If I ever showed y'all how tiny Long Beach Airport is, like that's the entire thing right there. It's like bite size. It's like an international airport. Like in, what's, who's, no, even Barbados Airport was bigger than that. That er, the airport is just super, super tiny. But I love it, it's so cute. Y'all know this is where I owned my CJO. <laughs> so the rest of the girls that I deadheaded with down here to, um, shoot, I shouldn't have these on. Um, where am I? Long Beach. Sitting airport reserve, they all just got a trip together. And I'm still here, sitting. Look at them, rolling off to go to San Francisco. I'm so jealous. So, so jealous. So, I'm just following them in to like, go get some food because I'm hungry. Um, it's 11.52, so I have about another three hours. So, unless somebody calls out for a trip or something, I probably won't get used. Who knows? Let's just cross our fingers. I feel like working. I feel like putting on a nice smile and giving these people the best service they ever had in their life. Well guys, another day of not technically working. I did a deadhead, so I do get paid for my deadhead. Five hours of just sitting and flying. But my airport standby, they didn't use me. Hi. So, heading to my hotel room. It's like 3 p.m. here in Long Beach obviously six o'clock in New York and I really wanted to go stalk Beyonce at the Grammy she has been slaying on Instagram <laughs> so I'm tired I'm tired so I'm thinking about going to lay out by the pool but I just looked and there's a lot of people out there so I might just lay in this bed and call it a day I'm exhausted good morning y'all um I'm at the gym I hope you yeah me and these headphones so I'm at the gym and I just got another freaking email from my company that's near and dear to my heart and they're opening the application again oh my god a bit of me is like why but hey that is great for some of you all that did not get the chance to apply last time that missed the application window they're opening it up February 1st so be prepared this time y'all make sure you have your updated passports resumes cover letters all that good stuff okay i'm excited for y'all but let me hit this uh cardio 30 for 30. oh and guess who else is hiring southwest february 5th y'all go get that southwest coin <laughs> so plenty of airlines with open applications so go apply y'all all right there's no excuse for you not to go get your wings
record my day in the life on my phone. I'll say hi to Carlos. I just ran into Carlos in the gym. It's my classmate from training. So we're about to have a little breakfast. I'm gonna eat something healthy so I can lose these 30 pounds. Have you gained weight since training? I lost some. What? I lost some. <laughs> I, was, I was actually happier than this. Yeah. How did you do that? Uh, eating healthier. I, I'm not eating cheese. Oh, that's good. And I cut a lot of bread out. When it's not necessary, like yeah. when it's totally not necessary, when it's like, I don't have, that's my only option, that's the only time I yeah, eat. That's the only time you eat it. Are you meal prepping for your chips and stuff? Yeah. A lot of salads. Yeah. See, I need to get like Carlos, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing better. You buy those tubs. What you tubs? Those, those yeah. little tubs that come already prepped. Why? In the supermarket. Oh, but how much are they? Well, I normally go. How much are they? No, I normally go where I go. Like, if the expiration date is like two days from that date, mm -hmm. they'll put it at 99 cents. What? <laughs> Yo, supermarket life hacks over here. <laughs> I've never heard of that. I'm gonna have to start doing that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna eat. Talk to y'all later. Healthy meals, y'all. What did you get, Carlos? Carlos got the same. No, you didn't get the same. No, this thing. is the um, three egg omelet with um, spinach, mushrooms, and good stuff. And a hash brown that looks good. And say hi, Tony. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> You're hi. saying hi to my YouTube blog. Oh, Tony's food geez. looks really good. Yeah, I got a three egg omelet with bacon, mushrooms, potatoes, hash browns. Yummy. Looks really good. Mike. <laughs> like, so I'm spilling stuff. And I'm looking like who done it and why. I just whipped the only jeans that I brought with me to Long Beach. Now I'm trying to decide, should I go to the mall and buy another pair of jeans? But I don't even like, I have another 40 minutes of home reserve from Long Beach. And then technically I'm done and they're supposed to deadhead me back to JFK tomorrow. So once one o'clock hits, I'm gonna call crew services, see if I can self deadhead and just go home to Houston because after this, I don't work again until the third. My first first class flight, I do on the third. I do a four day trip. So, yeah, just gonna play it by ear. Like, I have plenty of jeans. I loved those jeans, but that's what happens when you gain too much weight. Your pants don't fit no more. So, yeah, let's just play it by ear. No need to waste any money, right? No need. Good morning, everybody. So this is my third day in Long Beach, and I am supposed to be deadheading to um, JFK today. It's six of us on the flight, and what I really want to do is get released from my deadhead and just commute back home to Houston from California instead of flying all the way to New York just to fly all the way back to Houston. It's kind of silly, right? So I called this morning, as soon as I woke up, like 4 a.m., asked if I could be released, and they told me no. Yeah, so the way the deadhead works is that the crew that is currently operating the flight, just in case, you know, they get pulled to work a different flight or something happens, they have the deadheads on the flight that can operate the flight. So there's six of us. There's only three crew members that can work, and there's six total. But they won't release me because I'm the second most junior. So they would obviously call the most junior people to work the flight. So being that I'm the second most junior out of the six of us that are scheduled to deadhead, they won't release me, which really freaking sucks. So I either have to, hey sir, I either have to um, get one of the more senior people than me to agree to work the flight if they do end up pulling us to work the flight or I just have to like kind of wait it out until closer to our report time to see if they're even gonna use us. So, I don't know. Find one guy that I know is deadheading back that lives in JFK that probably wouldn't mind doing it. 
um, if I can't find him, then I'll just call, like, our flight's supposed to leave at 2.57, so I'll probably call around noon to get released, hopefully, fingers crossed, so I will keep y'all updated, but I just left the gym, y'all, I'm dedicated to this 30 for 30, and I'm um, at the little Starbucks bar in this hotel, eating me a nice little morning yogurt parfait, and yeah, I'm just go back upstairs and chill for a bit until it's time to go. So freaking excited, guys. So, this sign is ugly. Yeah, let's get a better view. <laughs> so excited. I got one of the other crew members that were deadheading to call and basically swap and say that they will work the deadhead if they needed them. So now I get to go home instead of going to JFK and then and I wouldn't have got to JFK tonight till like almost midnight and so I wouldn't have been able to get to Houston till tomorrow so now I just all I have to do is catch an Uber to LAX and hop on a flight from LAX to Houston and I can be home <sighs> yes God is good hallelujah I'm so excited I'm just outside waiting for Uber Eats to pull up with my food because I'm tired of eating this hotel food. Then I'm going to go pack and carry on with my day. <sighs> My mother is a hustler, y'all. Passing out her business cards. Actually, do call me. I'm having a home buyer's class on February 10th okay. on a Saturday from 2 to 4 if you're available. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Home. Wait, this Saturday? No, February 10th. Oh, okay. Okay. In about two weeks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Like, Say subscribe, and share. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Feel free to come to my home buyer's class on February 10th in Houston. I have lots of very informative information about purchasing a home. <laughs> See you then. I'll put the link in the description box Please if you're do. interested in buying a home. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>